Hey, what's up guys? It's Yo from FT Speed. Today we're doing new products of October. All right, so first things first, guys. I'm obviously not Thomas. Some of you guys are, may, may remember me. I'm Yo. I've been here since the beginning. Hey, everybody. Yo from FT86 Speed Factory here again, bringing you guys some more new products. Since we're a little sparse on the new stuff for the 8.6, we're gonna talk about some news in the industry, some breaking stuff that's been coming out lately about the new 8.6 platform. As most of you guys already know, we're looking forward to a new generation 8.6 and BRZ to come soon. Subaru's already announced that they'll be unveiling the full specs and production ready vehicle by this fall which means we may expect to see these cars out on the showroom floors or getting ready to be ordered by spring of 2021. This is really exciting news. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a long time. So let's talk about what we know about the next generation 8.6 and BRZ. From the spy photos and renderings, we can tell that the hood is slightly more sloped and the rear arches are getting a bit wider. Also, the headlights are gonna get a sleek, modern, new look and the front grille is gonna get slightly smaller with that black honeycomb pattern. Based on Subaru's official image, we can see that the new car will receive a functional front fender vent and a set of 18 inch wheels. Overall, I really like the direction the design team is taking with this vehicle. It's really an evolution of the design. They're taking all the things that we know and love about the 8.6 and updating it, giving it a modern new look and still keeping those classic sports car proportions. So I really think Subaru and Toyota have knocked this design out of the park. All right, all right. Now it's time for the big thing. What is under the hood? And of course, it's all speculation right now, but most of the rumors point to Subaru's FA24 power plant that's currently in the ascent. Whether it's turbocharged or not is still to be determined. There are rumors out there that the NA version is going to be used in the 8.6 and BRZ. An NA version producing 217 horsepower, which is a slight bump over the current 205 horsepower seen in our 8.6s and BRZs now, but should be a significant increase in torque and maybe even the torque dip being gone on this new engine. If the Subaru and Toyota gods have blessed us with a turbo, it's a possibility that the engine will output 260 horsepower. However, it's highly unlikely because we wouldn't want our little 8.6 and BRZ stepping on the bigger brother's toes of the Supra or the WRX. As far as the interior goes, there's not too much info on what's gonna change, but we can expect what we already know and love, and that's a driver-focused interior, a two plus two layout, and a standard manual six-speed transmission. As far as the updates go, you can expect better quality materials that'll give it a modern, sleek look, and even for some safety features, you can expect Subaru's EyeSight Driving Assist. So that's about all we know about the new 8.6 and BRZ. So let's go ahead and move on to new products. And since we're in the interior, we're gonna talk about Cusco and Brid's new Zeta 4 and Zieg 4 FRP bucket seats. These seats are the latest update to a classic design and feature that super grippy shape that will keep you in place whether you're on track or you're drifting. They're available with either silver or black FRP shells, and of course, they meet the newest FIA standards. Obviously, these seats are gonna fit in either your 8.6 or your Supra. You just have to make sure you get the right rails. Also new this month, we've got a bunch of new goodies from Escort. This is the Escort Max 360. We also have the Escort IXC and the M1 dash camera. These are some of the most reliable radar detectors on the market. If you guys are on the fence about buying a radar detector, I really recommend buying one from Escort. We also have the new M1 dash camera, which integrates with these radar detectors. These are gonna record in a continuous loop, and in case a collision occurs, they're gonna auto-save all of that footage for you, giving you that peace of mind. New from Petter Suspension is their front camber bolt kit. These simple bolts will help you adjust your camber after you raise or lower your vehicle. It's gonna give you about 1.5 degrees of adjustment plus or minus. That's gonna be enough to get you back to your factory alignment specs or to eke out a little more negative camber to give you that performance alignment. All right, guys, moving on to the new super products for this month. First up is gonna be from Faction Fab, their wheel spacer and lug bolt kit. These come in 10, 15, and 20 millimeter sizes. 
And you know, if you have a Supra with the factory wheels, whether you're on OEM suspension or lowered, that they're sunk in. Use these spacers to get that wider stance and that flush look. In addition to the wheel spacers, Faction Fab actually came out with a stud conversion kit for the A90 Supra as well. If you're sick and tired of using these wheel lug bolts and you, you wanna to jump to an actual stud and lug nut kit, these are gonna be right for you. They give you a more motorsports inspired look and you won't be messing around with these anymore. Last up from Faction Fab is a product that we actually have installed on our car and those are the Faction Fab lowering springs. These lowering springs actually work with the factory dampers and lower the vehicle moderately about one inches in the front and 0.8 inches in the rear. They're gonna give the car a smoother feel. You're not gonna get the harshness from other lowering springs that go much lower and they're still gonna give you that sporty feel that you're used to in the Supra. Next up, we've got a bunch of new products from our friends over at Varus Engineering. First up are their engine bay fluid caps. We've got a heat exchanger cap, a coolant cap, an oil cap, and lastly, a windshield washer fluid cap. These caps are made out of quality billet aluminum and they're gonna be offered in three different finishes. We've got red, blue, and black available. And all of these are available individually on our website. So if you're just looking to pick up one, we got you covered. We also have the Varus Engineering Dual Dive Plane Kit, otherwise known as front canards. These front canards will aid in giving you some front end downforce and extract air from the front wheel well. These are gonna allow you guys to run a rear diffuser or rear wing on track without upsetting the balance of the factory aero. The last item from Varus we have is their rear diff cooling plate. When the Supra is pushed hard, it's been known that the factory diff can actually overheat. That's why they developed this rear diff cooling plate. This is gonna allow more air to flow over the differential cooling fins, so you don't have to worry about these temperatures fluctuating, and you can concentrate on the drive. Next up, we got a couple new items from RecSpeed. If you Supra owners are looking for a few new carbon fiber products, RecSpeed has got you covered. First up is the V1 carbon fiber door garnish. This is gonna be a full replacement to the OEM piece, so you're gonna install it with the included 3M tape and hardware kit. It's gonna be super easy to install, and it comes in two different finishes, a forged carbon fiber and a more natural one-by-one -one weave. The last item from RecSpeed is their cluster switch panel overlay. Um, not much to say about this one. It's just a nice little carbon fiber piece uh, that you overlay, really covers up some of those boring plastics, just gives you that nice carbon fiber accent. All right guys, if you made it this far on the video, I wanna thank you guys for putting up with me and doing my first news and new products video. If you guys wanna see uh, more news or other different series, drop that stuff in the comments below. I wanna read and see what you guys wanna see next and hopefully I can bring that to you guys. This is Yo from FT Speed and I'll see you guys on the next one.